Hello my name is Sonali and I welcome you to the latest episode of Around the World in 7 Days. These days international politics is changing its course at a rapid pace. As a result, many developments are taking place on a regular basis and grabbing a lot of attention in the global media. While on one hand, sometimes countries are at unease because of certain actions of a nearby country. On the other hand, the camaraderie of Gulf countries presents a contrary picture. The Gulf countries are seen extending the hand of friendship to each other. In the year 2021, Saudi Arabia, UAE, Bahrain and Egypt ended the blockade against Qatar. In the last March, Saudi Arabia and Iran, who had taken the title of arch enemy of the Gulf, declared friendship. Turkey and UAE have also sidelined their mutual differences. At the same time, Turkey has also put aside its differences with Saudi Arabia. It seems that Turkey is trying to resolve its differences with Islamic countries and this has also received some recent attention. In fact, Turkey and Egypt have posted their ambassadors to each other for the first time in a decade to restore their diplomatic relations. According to the Egyptian Foreign Ministry, Amr Ehla Mami will be the Egypt's ambassador to Turkey, while Turkey has posted Salih Mutlu Sen as its ambassador to Egypt. The question that arises here is that what were the reasons behind the deterioration of relations between Turkey and Egypt? What were the causes for both of them to serve diplomatic ties? And now, why are the two nations coming together after a decade? What does it mean? We will try to find answers to all these questions one by one. Actually, the relations between the two countries began to deteriorate in the era of Arab Spring or Arab Revolution. However, the foundation of these events had already been laid by the politics of the Muslim Brotherhood. A series of protests and sit-ins began across West Asia and North Africa in the year 2010. This was known as Arab Awakening or Arab Spring. As a result, the power of the dictators of the concerned country either collapsed or got into an intraceable civil war. It was a wave that rang alarms across the Arab world as well as the entire world through sit-ins, protests, riots and armed conflicts. It started with the self-immolation of a fruit seller in Tunisia in December 2010. The flames of this fire first reached Algeria, Egypt, Jordan and Yemen, which soon spread throughout the Arab League and surrounding areas. The youth was leading the majority of this insurrection. These youths gathered on the streets against the dictators who were in power for decades and tried to overthrow them. During this, more than 1 million citizens occupied Tahrir Square in Cairo, the capital of Egypt. As a result, Hosni Mubarak, who had been Egypt's president for a considerable amount of time, was forced to resign. Turkey became one of the important external actors in the region because of the success of its model of democracy. Turkey's model of democracy was a mixed form of Islamic values and economic development. Consequently, Turkey's relations with Arab countries, especially Egypt, weakened. After the ouster of the President Hosni Mubarak, Turkey sought to increase its influence in Egypt's political crisis by supporting the Muslim Brotherhood. As a result, Mohammed Morsi, a member of Freedom and Justice, the political wing of the Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt, seized power. Thereafter, relations between Turkey and Muslim Brotherhood led Egypt progressed into political, economic and strategic cooperation. Additionally, the two nations' ideological and geopolitical alignment in the eastern Mediterranean Libya, Syria and the Gulf region expanded. As a result, Turkey, Qatar, Egypt emerged as a pro-transformation axis in the Arab world. But Turkey's friendship with Egypt could not last long. In 2013, Turkey's favourite, Mohammed Morsi, was ousted from power. In addition, Egypt designated the Muslim Brotherhood organization as a terrorist organization. Turkey condemned the ouster of Morsi, calling it a coup d'etat. Also, Turkey refused to recognize Fatah al-Sisi as the legitimate president of Egypt. After this, Egypt ordered the Turkish ambassador to leave the country. In response, Turkey also asked 
the Egyptian ambassador to return to his country. Hence, diplomatic relations between the two countries were severed in the year 2013. Now the question is, what is the meaning of restoration of relations between the two countries? According to Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan, the appointment of ambassadors marks an important milestone in the normalization of relations between the two countries. In a joint statement issued by both the countries, it has been said that the purpose of this step is to normalize relations between the two nations once again and to demonstrate mutual determination to work towards promoting bilateral relations in the best interest of the Turkish and Egyptian peoples. With this, Turkey and Egypt can give new dimensions to their relationship. In order to enhance the ties, the foreign ministry officials of both the countries started the negotiation process in the year 2021. During this time, a Turkish delegation visited Egypt to discuss potential normalization. The reason behind this is believed to be Turkey's desire to improve its relations with Egypt, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and Israel. According to the experts, Turkey's relations with Western nations are not particularly favorable right now. That's why it is trying to bring its relations with the Gulf and Islamic countries back on track. In this effort, Turkish President Erdogan shook hands with Fatah al-Sisi for the first time on the occasion of the FIFA World Cup in Qatar in November 2022. It was only then that there were indications that there could be friendship between the two countries soon. Apart from this, the Turkish currency lira had declined by about 30% in comparison to the dollar last year, which posed an economic challenge. In the year 2021, lira had lost about 44% compared to the dollar. In addition, Turkey's foreign exchange reserves have decreased significantly in the last five years. At present, Turkey's foreign exchange reserves have come down to about $20 billion. On the other hand, Turkey was also severely damaged by the earthquake that year. The country suffered a significant loss of life and property as a result. In such a situation, Turkey wants to strengthen its economy. Turkey has realized that it is the need of the hour to have good relations with other countries. Therefore, it has set aside its desire to lead the Islamic world. So that's all in this discussion. See you in the next episode. But before leaving, let's note down a practice question based on today's coverage. Throw light on the politics of Arab Revolution and Muslim Brotherhood in the context of Turkey-Egypt relations.